Hey YouTube, Phil Baumart here. Finally got the forge going. Today I'm going to be trying to take this uh, old ordinary axe head and make it into something cool like a uh, Viking axe. Okay, so after about 18 hours of work in uh, five separate forging sessions, I've completed my uh, the forging process. Um, while it doesn't look strictly Viking, it does look Germanic, I would say. Possibly like a Frankish uh, throwing axe, or I think it looks like something maybe a Visigoth might have. So the next thing I'm going to do is try and bust off some of this scale on my sandstone rock. Then I'll trim off this ratty edge here give it a little more uh, finesse to the finished shape. Then I'll put a handle on it and uh, that'll be it. Alrighty, now that I got the uh, axe blade sufficiently polished, got that most of that scale busted off, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just sort of trim the uh, excess edge of the blade off there. You can see where I've marked it with a sharpie. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, my Lennox hacksaw blade here, medium strength teeth. Uh, these are the best hacksaw blades I've used. Something that I like, it says made in the USA. Alrighty, well here's the axe after the quench. Uh, that might be one of those moments you look back on and say, oops. Alright, well here's the finished uh, axe head. I polished this part up on my sandstone here. 
The uh, the corn oil I used for the quench actually baked this uh, this sort of finish on there, which is uh, surprisingly very resistant to uh, getting worn off, and it's actually pretty water resistant too. Um, so that was sort of a neat little side effect. Uh, I just want to show you guys real quick that the um, that the quench was successful. So I'm going to take my file here. Can you hear that? Uh, you can hear that the file is just not biting. When I was uh, actually making the edge, you could see all the bits of metal flying off of here. Um, and that was because the, the steel was soft and the file teeth were biting in and taking off a lot of material. So all i got to do next is put a haft on there, and then it will be uh, a finished axe. But until next time, remember, be more Viking.